Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal, hey market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Monday's end of day trading session, the 24th of October 2016. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so economic data, uh, let's look at the numbers first of all. Uh, the FTSE 100 closed down negative, I'll explain why. The German DAX certainly closed higher and the uh, French CAC as well. Now, FTSE 100 certainly under pressure on multiple fronts. First of all, we had the concerns with regards to oil. The Iranians and the Iraqis basically stated that uh, uh, they certainly weren't on board or on the same thought of a thought process as the rest of the uh, potential OPEC members uh, in terms of cutting production. Certainly uh, asking to be exempted from that. Okay, and also the potential freeze as well. So the whole um, OPEC deal basically gets thrown into the air. Uh, and okay and uh, basically is uh, is negative for oil and as we can see oil is currently below fifty dollars now uh, before prime previously it went as high as 52 now below 50 so the whole OPEC deal certainly is in doubt and that's one of the reasons why the FTSE 100 is under pressure we also had weaker CBI data as well UK CBI data about the, about the uh, FTSE 100 this week uh, today this morning as well certainly bearish Okay, we had stronger EU PMI data, but again, that's net net bearish given the fact that uh, stronger data uh, indicates less chances of further QE. Also, we had a, a Reuters uh, uh, potential article as well, if I just share that with you as well. ECB unlikely to ease policy further. So a stronger euro basically dictates that uh, the uh, European equities will come under pressure, which in turn obviously forces the FTSE 100 down as well. Okay, we also had uh, great UK growth concerns from last week. We had uh, wages dropping, jobless claims increasing, and uh, inflation obviously eroding the uh, the actual uh, disposable income um, uh, aspect as well. Uh, US dollar certainly strong, very, very strong, uh, finishing into Friday, obviously today as well, with the Aussie and the Kiwi down. Uh, Euro obviously still sub uh, 109, still failing to push higher, although I am expecting that to move higher very shortly. Okay, currently long the Euro, long the... Uh, the kiwi on this dip okay so certainly uh, with the nikkei obviously negative overnight as well certainly another factor for the FTSE 100 to be under pressure we also have hard brexit concerns uh, with uh, nicola sturgeon st stating that she certainly wants to uh, go down the uh, or has no idea as to what the plan is of the uk government and uh, miss may's uh, plan certainly is in jeopardy okay and uh, she certainly uh, stated that she's not calling a bluff in terms of uh, uh, calling for a second potential Scottish referendum. So again, that creates a political uncertainty, economic uncertainty, and certainly doesn't bode well for the uh, FTSE 100. So like I said, multiple fronts of FTSE 100 from a fundamental perspective is under pressure. Now let's look at the actual uh, closing uh, technical patterns. Okay, let's start off with the German DAX. As I stated for earlier on the other day, uh, the German DAX would certainly face resistance and certainly look for weakness given the uh, multiple unfilled gaps below. We had this bull flag formation, but I did expect that would, that would fail and then we would obviously move lower. And that's exactly what's happened thus far. So certainly I've uh, topped out here at uh, 10.815. Obviously the, the, the German DAX certainly is down and weak. Uh, we have the unfilled gap at uh, 10.710, so certainly expect that to potentially close as the first technical support zone. The French CAC, I explained that it was certainly weak as well. So the French CAC certainly topped out here around the 4575 level and obviously we've flushed ever since. Currently sat at the 4450 zone and our gap fill is at 4535. So certainly watch out for further weakness there. FTSE 100 certainly has remained weak all day. Uh, daily chart, I explained to you that you uh, certainly have held the FIB 61%. Okay, so certainly looking for further weakness on the back of oil weakness. You do have support at the 6976 and you have 200 MA support at 6980 in the 60 minute chart now. Uh, if that fails to hold, then the next level is seen at 6940. 10 minute chart, the FTSE, we certainly close a gap at the uh, 7015. We certainly continue to flush, fail to hold support at this uh, 7000 level and we've actually tested the stops around up to 6985. So 6985, certainly a 6980 is support and also you have support at 6975. So, those are the two zones of uh, of potential support, okay? So that certainly is the uh, situation here, okay? So FTSE 100 certainly flushed, but we are now coming into support. There is another gap fill below at 6940. Uh, so again, that certainly is a zone to watch out for. Uh, again, all unfilled gaps below remain vulnerable to being closed. 
and therefore looking for weakness folks okay that certainly is a situation with the FTSE 100 let's just bring up the euro stocks before I close for the day euro stocks again same type of pattern with regards to the German DAX and the, um, the French CAC certainly has put in a potential topping tail at resistance now so any further or next potential move would be a short or shorting opportunity if we do retest this level at uh, 3100 again certainly we'll be more than happy to short down to gap fill at 3080 okay 3075 so certainly looking for weakness on the euro stocks as well and therefore you are looking for strength in the euro and certainly looking for the dollar to fall which in turn should send the uh, the actual uh, euro higher versus the dollar and therefore but exert pressure on the Europe, European indices okay folks European indices under pressure adding the fact that you have oil weakness adding the fact that you have dollar strength hurting Aussie and Kiwi to a large extent uh, although the uh, talk with regards to the euro certainly you know, the euro is supported by German inflation expectations higher uh, EU PMI stronger therefore reduces the argument for any further uh, additional QE and therefore inadvertently the euro should start to rally whether that be versus a sterling whether it be versus the dollar obviously each and every um, uh, individual country's monetary policy obviously you have to adjust accordingly the dollar itself certainly is at lofty heights okay the US PMI data did actually come in stronger we had Mr Bullard saying that one rate hike and that's enough after that they'll certainly back off uh, and again I think a lot of the uh, rate hike talk or the actual rate hike in December certainly is baked into the dollar now okay and therefore you are looking for weakness now we do have multiple uh, speakers from the Fed uh, talking later on today so again all eyes on those potential speakers okay uh, in terms of movement of the US dollar on that note I'll certainly close okay uh, just before I do uh, in terms of economic data tomorrow folks just to give you an insight you have uh, German IFO uh, expectations current assessments of so German data is Italian data and then we move on to uh, French data as well uh, and then we have US Red Book housing uh, consumer confidence optimism for Richmond Fed Miss, Mr Carney speaking tomorrow again Will be very very important for sterling and the FTSE 100 so certainly keep an eye on that api data as well oil stocks data certainly important also we have mr draghi speaking interesting day tomorrow folks okay very interesting so certainly expect volatility tomorrow on that note wish you a farewell and uh, the best in the remainder of the trading session be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus goodbye now